and welcome to Becky's House of Sewing. This is Becky <laughs> and her House of Sewing. I am actually kind of in my stitchy spot uh, today, not in my sewing room. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, it's been a wild two weeks and I know I have a lot of new viewers, so hello, welcome. Make yourself at home. Um, I have fun, new, uh, fun news to share, um, fun things that I have to give away if anyone's interested, um, and just kind of tell you what I'm up to. Of course, I have giveaway winners as well, but um, first again, we have like over 100 new viewers. I'm at 210 subscriptions at this point. Um, I my video two videos ago at this point number 58 has had over a thousand views um, which I wasn't very impressed if I had over a hundred views three weeks ago so um, it's been fun I'm glad um, my stitchy friends are finding everything uh, interesting as much as I find floss tube interesting um, I again am in my stitchy spot in my living room my husband's working outside, so Lord only knows if he walks in. My two dogs, my sweet angel dogs, are chilling out, so if they see a deer, they might bark. You never know. The excitement, the anticipation. It might kill me. Um, so, let's talk what I've been stitching. So, as many of you have found me through um, oh, Curious Crafters, Two of my favorite floss tubers um, who I am now just going to call my friends because they have to be um, I know they want to be because they're they're cool stitchers just like us um, and I like pretty much everything they do um, I am only a slacker in the fact that I don't have a Kathy Barrick design going on right now but I have always loved her designs so I'm like a pseudo uh, Kathy Barrick fan club member um, I just need to get something stitched and I will eventually it's inevitable right when you like the stuff we like um, so I have been working on a peacock a unicorn a badger um, from the scarlet letter I had liked it a really long time didn't really need or want to do something so big and really wasn't sure what I would do with it so I hemmed and hawed hemmed and hawed um, in one of my stitching groups, uh, we often bring stuff and like, hey, anybody want these? <laughs> I'm cleaning out, I'm de-stashing, anybody want these? And the book was one of the, um, things that I got from that kind of a, um, visit or I guess visit, yeah, when we were all meeting together. So I took it as a sign if I was getting the, um, chart for free that I should I should definitely start it it did take me a little while to kit it up um, and then I got started on it and it took a little while to get a little momentum and then all of a sudden like BAM I got a lot of momentum um, so when I saw Carolyn um, stitching it on Pierce crafters it was fun uh, that she was able to find me on Instagram too and make comments. And I was like, I know I love your stitching too. Uh, this is where I'm at. Yay. So I am on page four of five all the way across. So the next section will be the sun. And Carolyn is starting um, on the, I guess, the right side and working down. Uh, so we've just shared this squirrel and she was watching my progress because I've been trying to post progress pictures um, for a couple reasons I just think it's fun to see the progress but also it's kind of like a, a little bit like a diary so that's kind of fun uh, she said let me know when you're doing the squirrel and um, I'll join in with you because we're kind of at the same point and I let her know that I was starting it just then and boy whoo that squirrel was a tough cracker now he's not 
exact. But he's done. <laughs> um, and and he and his little uh, nut too. <laughs> so I'm very grateful to get him done. Couple of things that tricked me up on him. Um, I'm doing the DMC conversion, and the two there's like four colors in the squirrel, and two of the browns that are kind of on the outer parts are very similar in color. So when I was stitching them, I kept getting confused on what color I was actually doing. So I, the symbols were all over the place for me. Um, as far as I'm confident that I didn't follow the symbols properly. And then he's also on a page break. So though the chart is really great, it does show you it has like two rows shaded out from the previous page so you can kind of align where you're at but I still find it really hard like this much of him was on another page and it was just in that spot where where there's a lot of curves so it was a challenge the challenge is over I have victory over the squirrel so now there's just a few things there's a couple things there's a um, branch I need to finish obviously and there's a couple of beginnings of flowers or other motifs here I need to fill in the clouds finish this flower and of course the green background is not completed um, I've been doing that on Wednesday stitching um, where I meet on zoom with the Wednesday stitchers um, so I've been making some progress. It's it's progressing But um, I'm very pleased to have that done. I would have had more done But I got distracted <laughs> Over the last two weeks, so um, I did meet up with my stitchy friends again um, on Sunday not this Sunday last Sunday uh, today is Sunday November 29th, November, tw October 29th. Um, and so I met up last Sunday with them and we um, got talking about gem painting, which several of our uh, previous members had uh, been doing and then it just intrigued me and then Instagram and Facebook have just bombarded me with with um, advertisements and then one of my stitching buddies in that group had uh, succumbed she had succumbed to the uh, pressures of the paint gem um, or gem painting and so she got something from diamond art um, company that's much bigger and it's beautiful but many of the other um, prints or canvases that they had just didn't appeal to me and I didn't want something so big I wanted something smaller so I went let's see if I can find I have all this stuff next to me on my couch um, I found paint gem and this is a kit I got the mandalas kit it was still hard to pick um, so it has like 12 of these guys and it's on sparkly paper too. I don't know if you can tell that the paper is sparkly. Um, it comes with a kit of all the things, which is fun. All the all the plastic diamonds. Uh, they correlate to DMC floss colors, so you could use it as a as a pattern if you wanted to. Um, but it's it's very fun. Now, again, it comes with a kit with all the tools, all the gems, all the, all the, all the stuffs. Um, but I found that the tool that you use, well, I didn't enjoy it. Um, so I went on Amazon just to see if there was a way to get just the tools and maybe a couple more trays for gems. And uh, here's what I found. Yes, they do. And none of it is very expensive. So I got a different tool, a little more substantial, still like a plastic handle, but ergonomically correct. And um, the tips are all metal. 
and I bought a, a set of small trays, but I'll tell you, I really only want to use one tray at a time. Um, I feel like if I got the colors out, I would forget what color I was using. Because <laughs> there, again, in this there's like five blues, three oranges, four pinks. Um, so I just didn't want to get confused. So I just ended up doing like color filling in. I would do all the same color all at the same time kind of deal. Um, and that really worked. Um, I do need to find a different setup because doing it on my lap in the living room will send me to my chiropractor. <laughs> but um, it is quite satisfying having them all click into space, shaking up the trays, all the little um, ASMR sounds that comes with it. Um, really did have a good time doing it. And I know I'll finish up these. So I've done two of those. And then the other thing I've been thinking about, and let me get my phone so I can show you what, I, what else. Because you know I'm a big fan. Where is my phone? A big fan of the uh, PDF charts. So I have uh, only pictures on my phone. And now I can't find my Nobody phone. panic. I found it in my phone. All right, so I bought this little guy here, sweet as can be, because it is, with the little bees. Okay, so what attracts me to this is very similar to what I am enjoying in a peacock, a unicorn, a badger, a badger, a unicorn. You know the one I'm talking about. Um, is that these are blocks of color. Um, so it's, again, it's a full coverage, but it's much smaller than what I'm working on right now. It's only 127 by 127. And I believe a peacock, a unicorn, a badger is like 300, 400 across and down. So it's a big one. Um, so this was, I got the, um, the PDF on directly from Carolyn Manning's website. And then I went to 123 Stitch to get the fabric and threads. So uh, I didn't want to do Ada. Um, nothing against Ada. I stitch on Ada from time to time. Um, it's just not my preferred stitch. I really do like how linen looks. I like how my stitches are slightly irregular on the irregular threads. Um, so I just enjoy it more. Here are the threads. They're all DMCs. Aren't they pretty? Let's see if I turn around you can see the blues a little bit better. And then the fabric uh, was a light pink, so I went ahead and got a light pink. Now you can see here, I just went all the way across and then I did this little trick that some of my stitching buddies do. Um, and I crossed over every 10th stitch. So I could kind of count on my way. I am showing you the right side, aren't I? No, I'm showing you the back. <laughs> I'm showing you the back. Here's the front side. So I did every tenth stitch. And then I just did the first three. Again, I haven't gone all the way across yet um, to start the border just to see where I'm at. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be just a little guy. About six by six, six and a half ish by six and a half ish. Um, so very fun. I will work on that a little bit later today, I know. Um, so those are the two things between the squirrel being challenging and getting frustrated, getting a new project started, and the paint gem uh, situation. I have not gotten as much done on uh, my peacock as I had hoped, but that's okay. It's not a race. Um, so as I alluded to before, uh, I had some time together with some other stitchers where we do a lot of trading or um, giveaways to each other, and I have a stack full of charts that if anybody is interested in, uh, let me know and we'll make arrangements 
Um, so I'm just gonna give you a little parade of the charts that I have rescued from good uh, from being sent to Goodwill. <laughs> and so we'll. St <coughs> These are the ones I've already obviously been through them several times. These are the ones that I like, but aren't really calling to me to stitch. So if somebody else would like them, please let me know. So are your pens and pe pencils ready? So we have Stacy Nash. And this is 1829 aged 11 years. And it's Mary Barr's sampler. Mary Barr's. Sorry for the glare. There's a lot of them. I don't want to take them all out of the things. Uh, this one has some of the threads to it. Oh, sorry. A little chart action there. But I have some of the threads. And this is uh, Shepherd's Bush Printworks. And it's Merry Little Christmas. This is Chessie and Me. This is Hannah Com... Humper, 1818 sampler. It's a cute little sampler. This is Scarlet House, and this is Susan Was Waspan. I like those colors a lot. I like the the eagles by the Adam and Eve. This top part would be a nice um, band sampler all to itself. This one is also Scarlet House. This is Mary Betchel, 1810. I love those parrots and those trees. There are several, um, that's a popular motif, I think. And those flower pots at the top kill me. Here's some old prairie schooler. Get ready. This is D E F in that um, alphabet um, series. This is book 99. And this is the cardstock. Original prairie schooler. Not re uh, not reprints. And then here's another one. This is uh, seasonal samplers, seasonal accent samplers. Aunt Mary Lou, this makes me think of you. Would you like this one? Do you have this one? Question mark. This one is a heartstring sampler. This is our samplery Christmas band sampler. This is GGR. Mary Applewhite. This one I need to take out because um, they've uh, enlarged the the um, well. Anyway, you can see some of this uh, the pattern. That's really pretty on the back. Okay, this is heartstring samplery again. Someday at Christmas. Those who know, know I do not do holiday stitching. This is, um, it's So Emma, the Welcome Simply Signs Pattern Series. Welcome. And then here's the stackables. This is the March. Here's one that I really like the colors of. I just, I don't know. Uh, Elizabeth Howells. 1851. Look at all that. I really like that one. This one's really pretty too. Uh, this is Kathy Barrick. Mm. And this is The Village. Really cute. Um, this is 
Mildely's needle. I hadn't heard of that before. Mill, um, is it my lady's needle? My lady's needle? And it's Mary Ann Carrington, 1834. Very pretty. I like those carnations. Jane Cowie by the Scarlet House. These have some cute butterflies on them. Another Scarlet House, Ellen Strick, 1849. Here's a carriage house sampling. Uh, it's a stocking, the virtuous woman stocking. Scarlet House, Hannah Tengi, uh, 1823. This is a Teresa Kogut, Love One Another. This is really pretty, or it's Wisdom called Wisdom. Really pretty. Uh, another Scarlet House Roses for Ruby. And last but not least, uh, Mary Cook by the Scarlet House, seven, 1795. Just imagine, our cross stitches are going to be around for like 200 plus years. I like those birds. So if any of those things, um, any of those charts appeal to you, let me know. We'll work something out. Uh, the things that I've gotten, um, I showed you a little bit my haul of getting um, sweet as can be. But I also got my Quilt Folk magazine. Um, this, it, it's a great book, people. This comes out quarterly. It's a nice thick magazine with wonderful articles about different quilters, um, throughout whatever state they're doing or region that they're doing. This is issue 28, Colorado. Um, it feels good in the hands. It's got a great book smell to it. But, I mean, hello, this is a little flip through. Hello. Hello. Um, and it, it is expensive for a reason, but... What is it about the half square triangle? I love it. I I really do think it's worth it. Um, not only to support the heritage of the craft, but to learn some history of each place that they go to. Um, they have, it's not just one kind of quilter that they have. They're very good on making sure it's a nice diverse um, group of people that they um, interview and showcase. And of course they know ahead of time it is not an, um, an exhaustive uh, commentary of people in that region or state um, that they will probably need to and want to revisit other states to get other quilters. But you can't do it all, but it's a nice, it's a nice read. I highly recommend it. Okay, so these are the things that I have kept from that haul um, that I, I did want to keep um, and stitch. And this is Wool and Flax by Brenda Gervais. A one day stitch. And then I got the uh, Gathering, Gathering Together by the Scarlet House. This one was started and has some fabric to it, so I wanted to keep it as Shepherd's Bush. Um, this land. A little patriotic stitch. Um, this one I really like too. This is Scarlet House. This is Mary Howley, 1808. Uh, 
Um, this guy is Stacy Nash, and this is Sisters Three Pin Keep. And this is Heartstring Samplery. Sweet lovers love the spring. I really like this one. Um, and I'm not a house, I don't, I don't necessarily like love sewing houses, cross stitching houses, but this is the strawberry house. Strawberry, strawberry. And that's, that's what I kept. So I guess all that's left is kind of to, uh, again, thank everybody for joining in. I will say, um, cause I really haven't said anybody's name yet and I don't want anybody to be distressed, especially Ron or Connie. Um, but my aunt Mary Lou has, um, has reveled in the excitement and uh, it's been very fun like every day for her to text me like you've got eight more subscribers you got that just done you're at do you know where you're at that kind of thing so it's been uh, very fun to uh, have family uh, who love me uh, to uh, have enjoy the celebration as much as I have um, so Without further ado, uh, let me announce, I did say that I would give away uh, one of each of my bags. I make a vinyl uh, project bag and a fabric vinyl bag. So I have um, sold a couple and I still have some to sell and because you're my uh, new stitchy friends, I would be happy to honor a $10 discount that's $40 for either style um, uh, with no shipping charges that's inclusive of shipping. So if you'd like one and you didn't win because I have two winners, um, just know that uh, you're, you could still get one if you want to. And I will say that I would like to do another giveaway when I get to 500 and I'm at 210. Um, and that happened in two weeks, so it could easily happen again. Let's face it. Um, so let's keep up the good work, <laughs> get to 500 and, um, we'll do another giveaway. But the lady who won the fabric bag is Lady Robin S. Congratulations. I will comment on your comment and, uh, just reach out to me, uh, via email to give me your, uh, your, your info. And the person who, the, also another lady, I believe, uh, who won this, oh, oh, I didn't tell you. I had 15 comments uh, for this bag in Lady Robin S1. I had 13 comment bags for a vinyl, which I'm very surprised. I thought more people liked vinyl. But um, 13 comments and Audrey Fleming won this one. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I will get those in the mail uh, when I get your info and I will uh, comment on your comment. If you would like a bag yourself um, and didn't win, uh, you can either wait till the 500 giveaway or uh, reach out to me. I can definitely get one sent out to you again for $40. Thanks so much, guys. I it, This has always been fun for me, uh, and it's a nice little diary and a way to kind of keep account of my stitching and my projects and all the all the trouble I get into, all the shopping trouble. Um, but I wanted to just say that it's very flattering that uh, people are starting to find me and the algorithm started uh, putting me into people's uh, views. So. I'm glad that I am uh, not hiding from anybody anymore. <laughs> um, so I will see you in about two weeks. And until then, have fun shopping. And, I mean, stitching. I mean, stitching. Have fun stitching. It's not shopping, it's stitching. <laughs> have a good couple weeks. Bye.